Microsoft's latest move in quantum computing could be a game changer. What's the buzz? Stick with us on MSP Dispatch to find out. Microsoft and Quantum may have just revolutionized quantum computing with their latest development. Traditional computers rely on binary bits, whereas quantum computers use qubits, which exist in multiple states simultaneously. However, qubits are prone to errors, limiting their practical application. Microsoft's breakthrough involves grouping physical qubits into virtual ones, significantly reducing error rates. With an 800-fold improvement in error correction, they claim to have conducted over 14,000 experiments error-free. This advancement, dubbed Level 2 Resilient, quantum computing by Microsoft could enable practical applications previously deemed impossible. Professor Aram Harrow from MIT praises the achievement, noting its potential impact on quantum computing. Microsoft plans to offer its reliable quantum computing via Azure Quantum Elements in the next few months, aiming for even more advanced capabilities. All right, Tony, uh, I'm going to ask you to read some tea leaves here. Fast forward six six months from now, are we doing more AI stories or quantum computing stories? Um, well, hold on. Let me use my AI to ask the probability. Um, now let me ask my quantum. Oh, it's not there. My personal opinion. <laughs> my personal opinion. Hold on as I, I go based off of logic and reason in this one. Um, I do believe that AI is going to continue to snowball just based on sheer probability. However... We are on the precipice of AI being overtaken and then a, a being amplified by quantum computing. And I'm wondering how the two are going to connect. Um, I do believe if this is done correctly, we will understand that quantum computing is not the end all compute process. Quantum computing as it exists today can only do certain types of computing. So it doesn't just say, hey, here's everything. Um, and that is why uh, I believe the uh, Chinese researcher that um, uh, accelerated past the fastest Google uh, quantum metric uh, was more than like 10 million times faster because it was only doing one thing. And I don't know how general the Google quantum uh, processing speed was, uh, was applied, but I do understand that it was not nearly as specific as the one from the, uh, from the China released data that I heard before. So I don't know which is going to be which, but out of everything, I'm more curious as to how one will amplify the other. And I do know that AI is here today. What are your thoughts? Is it though? Is AI here today? So, <laughs> I mean, because we're t we're not at generative AI yet, right? Like that's the goal we're trying to get there, and so I wonder. And hell, we covered. I'm not going to make poor Phil look for the story, but we covered AI being added into Notepad for God's sakes. Um, and so I wonder why. Uh, what what is Azure going to sell? And their quantum computing, their reliable. I'm glad they're they're making it the reliable quantum computing because if it wasn't reliable, you know, we don't want that unreliable quantum computing. <laughs> oh, we don't need that stuff. We but, don't but need is that it, one. Is it so, so? You actually hit on something that's important, right? Um, so we're looking at AI, and we all know that that is artificial intelligence, and we all know that the uh, well, for those of research it, the uh, AGI, artificial general intelligence, which is uh, parallel to. Uh, organic general intelligence is the end goal. So AGI is the human-like thinking that we're trying to achieve. AI as it exists today in its current state is not there. It's getting close. AGI is what we're looking for. But then ASI, artificial super intelligence, that is the one that we hear about in the movies and that we, everyone's afraid of. Is ASI what quantum computing will bring to AGI? Hmm. Maybe. You Maybe. Know, to talk about that <laughs> in our Discord or in the oh, comments yes. below okay. where like they could talk with us and we can bring it up in the feedback section and even continue the conversations during the week. I think that would I be excellent. Be in there. Yes. And let the arguments, I mean, the passionate conversations 
pursue yeah. be pursued right there. <laughs> I'll give a I'll give a preemptive internet. You're wrong. No, you're wrong because my <laughs> ways are our way. <laughs> so. That's funny. And with that, thanks for tuning in. If you found the story eye opening, catch MSP Dispatch every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern and additional content throughout the week for more in depth news coverage. Share your thoughts below and remember to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.